this clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe. You know, here in Texas, we've got a lot of wild animals, from bears to bobcats, but tigers aren't typically found here. That is, unless you head up to Tyler, where you'll find a refuge fit for a king. Well, king of the jungle, that is. In the piney woods of East Texas, you'll come across a gate that looks like you might find some prehistoric creatures lurking behind it. But once you drive into the Tiger Creek Wildlife Refuge, you'll see majestic animals soaking up the sun in our great state. A happy big cat is one that you see doing hardly anything. That means they are content, they feel safe and secure, and you'll mostly just see them kind of laying on their back in the sun. <laughs> Terry Werner is the director of operations of the 25-acre refuge that's home to 37 cats. Since 1997, the nonprofit organization has been earning their stripes by taking care of tigers that found their way to Texas. We really just didn't even know which way it was going to go. We thought, oh, we'll take in a few cats and they'll probably be it, and it just kept snowballing. Believe it or not, many of these incredible animals were once pets. For some reason or another, people who purchased the cubs had no idea they'd grow up to be big old tigers. Even bobcats are brought to the sanctuary as former pets. These guys, they look like they're gonna make great pets, but they're still a wild animal. And so as they get older, they start getting possessive over food and toys and stuff like that. And so, you know, they had a little girl, they had a little daughter, and they were afraid that he was gonna bite her and so they needed to give them up. You know, that's another thing people don't think about is if you have kids in the, you know, how are they gonna be around the animals and stuff? The carnivorous cats came to Tyler from all over and there's even a few celebrities. We have animals from all over the country. We even have Michael Jackson's tiger. It was one of his original tigers. Then we have some lions that came from Cancun, Mexico. Uh, so really just all over the country and then other countries. While the company may be international, the cuisine is not. It simply consists of 400 pounds of meat and a little something extra. They do need bones uh, to keep their teeth clean and some hide to keep their teeth clean. Uh, that way we don't have to do a lot of dental work on these guys. Once mealtime is over, these cats do what they do best. Even in the wild, your big cats lounge and sleep 18 to 22 hours a day. So they're not out there doing a whole lot. Once they've eaten, they're done. Even though these big guys look cute and cuddly, they're not to be confused with man's best friend. One of the big questions is, is can we pet the animals? Unfortunately, lions and tigers are not pettable pets. <laughs> it's just something about that docile power. It's like, uh, seeing a fighter jet or a warship or something like that, knowing it's so big and so powerful, but just such a calm around it. But knowing at any second, if he needed to, well, whatever's in his way is moving. Antoine Lancaster is visiting the refuge from New York City. It's a whole different perspective on our little cats at home. <laughs> That's just amazing to hear where they come from in their backgrounds. Oh, it's great. Love seeing what they're doing with these cats pretty cats. It's very educational and you get to be up close and personal with these tigers. Amanda Triple used to work at the sanctuary and came back to see her feline friends. I miss it so much. I love coming here. I love seeing the cats. Having worked with them, it's, it's incredibly personal to me. It's something I thoroughly enjoy. The Tiger Creek Refuge is more than just a place for people to come see these majestic marvels. Its mission is to educate and to provide Texans with a place that's well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. We're going to tell you about each animal, why it came here, what its story is, and then information about that species. Tigers are one of the most iconic animals. There are less than 2,000 in the wild and uh, 
we need to save them quickly because by the next generation of people, they may be gone. If you love wild animals and big cats, this is definitely a place to come. It's not about the people, it's about the animals, and the people should feel privileged to be around the animals, not the other way around.